Well, hello again, Capricorn, and uh, really a mixed bag for you this month. You know, both positive and difficult planets combining in the 11th zone of friendships, and that is in particular the area that uh, I'd like to talk about this month. Uh, we do see um, one very, very positive influence having uh, the position of the sun in the upper part of your horoscope up until the 23rd means that you can achieve an awful lot this month in your work, but still that uh, niggling, strong conjunction of planets in the 11th house uh, can show some difficulties with friends, maybe competitors, friends who are friendly competitors. It's like the, <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, I always get so angry at my sister. She'd always win at Scrabble or Ludo or whatever the game we were playing, you know, and, you know, Sportsmanship is fine uh, until you get to the 11th game and you've lost. So even a friendly rivalry can sometimes get a little bit out of hand. Don't let that be the case this month. Generally, that uh, strong position of Jupiter in your 7th house is good to keep things on an even keel. We see Mars in the 8th house aspecting this uh, group of planets in your 11th house. Now, Mars is a combative planet. It's not particularly a friendly planet. We also see up to around the 3rd, the, the what we call the applying transit of the moon, the moon-Mars conjunction is very strong, very impulsive. That's in your sexual zone. So uh, there could be some anomalies here in terms of your friendships and your sexual feelings for them, um, uh, your sexual feelings for someone you're in a relationship with. You could be having misgivings, or you may want some independence just now to yeah, spread your wings and fly a little bit. Let's take a look at the chronology of events, though, this month where we see the uh, friendly uh, Mercury trine to uh, Neptune. Excellent aspects for communicating your feelings, your ideals. And I know this is not generally the, or what astrologers say is not generally the Capricorn bag, where you share some of these high spiritual, non-practical ideals, but this month you may be able to do so, and you feel comfortable doing it. The sun in the right angle to Pluto on the same day, and uh, the Sun also in the opposition to Uranus. That's a bit of tension, maybe a bit of power playing, politics on the work front. But this is where uh, that Mercury-Neptune transit can help you express um, a different side to the situation. <clears throat> you can catch people off guard too, uh, because they expect you to be the pragmatic person in the group, and uh, you, you may come out with something very, very impractical, very spiritual, but something that strangely works for everyone around you. And that's continuing up to around the 4th or 5th. Uh, the 7th is a nice aspect from uh, Mercury. Uh, this is a what I'd call a transformative aspect to Pluto. Pluto is transiting your first house, or the sun sign of Capricorn throughout this 10, 12, 14 year period, however long, long, long transit. But these are communications with friends that can actually transform you, or vice versa. You can act in a way as a bit of a psychologist or a facilitator for change now. And any friends that are having problems will come to you and will feel very benefited by <coughs> your advice. That's also augmented by the fact that Venus is going to move into your 12th house of spirituality on the 8th. It's going to spend some time there. And that's a nice aspect. And Mercury also in the 11th house on the 9th. So it's whole period 4th to the 10th of the month is very much about uh, being there for your friends, communicating with them. And the Mercury-Saturn conjunction is a very highly concentrated intellectual one, two very friendly planets, your ruler and the uh, and the ninth ruler, which, uh, sorry, the, uh, let's have a look at that, the ninth ruler, which is your past karma, higher mind planet, uh, in conjunction with your ruling planet, also indicates to me your very strong ability to communicate ideas to others now, especially friends. There's some opportunity to gain information from hidden sources, foreign areas, or connections with people you don't normally connect with, and that information is going to help you in your work. And that's shown leading up to the 12th and after. 12th of October is the uh, perfection of that aspect for some of you. Um, at the same time, we see your personality is at a clash maybe with others, possibly your boss. Some of this information may not be received all that well, but you have to be careful in the way you present that. 
Mars moves to your ninth house on the 15th. There could be some legal problems uh, ensuing as a result of that. Um, again, I told you Mars is not your friendliest planet, and the ninth house has to do with legal matters, bureaucratic issues. It's also to do with your ethics and your morals. So this could be a conflict with people who are at odds with what you believe is right and what they believe is right. So it's not necessarily a court case for all of you, but uh, certainly a uh, difference of opinion that could sort of wash over into the area of your ethical and moral uh, judgments and uh, belief systems. If we take a look there at uh, at the, the, the eclipse that's happening in the, your fourth zone of family on the 19th, this, is, this is, has to be mentioned, it's a very important transit and uh, could shake things up for some of you born under the sign of Capricorn. This is very much about uh, undoing the emotional baggage attached uh, with and to people in your family, relatives, people that have been uh, hanging on too much or relying on you too much, much to your uh, dissatisfaction. This is a time to work through a lot of those issues uh, as the eclipses have the, the powerful force of, um, you know, releasing some of that past emotional energy. And, you know, the moon is very strongly involved here in your feelings and also the fourth house which has to do with your inner happiness and your family life. So this is a key date there around the 19th but bear in mind some of the effects of that that uh, eclipse may be a little delayed as they are and we see that from practice. Uh, <clears throat> the sun moves to your 11th house on the 23rd. I like that. It's a really nice sort of closure to the month. Uh, brings with it a lot of social activity and some fulfillment in the way of your, your personal ideals and aspirations. I will see you here next month. In the meantime, don't forget, you can get more information on this month, on a daily basis even, uh, at astrology.com.au, and I will see you here next month, ready to give you your November synopsis. Bye-bye.